There were two notable passings this weekend you should know about. First, from the Big Easy. <laughs> Dave Bartholomew may not be a household name. Frankly, that's because he was one of the creators of R&B, what became rock and roll, and not one of the white artists or record executives who would make millions off the sound he helped create. After serving in the Army, the New Orleans native created his own band, and then in 1949, he teamed up with a young New Orleans piano player to write The Fat Man. Fats Domino was born. Dave Bartholomew then helped write I'm in Love Again, I'm Walkin', Valley of Tears, My Girl Josephine, Whole Lot of Lovin', Blue Monday, and the classic Ain't That a Shame with and for Fats. He produced the records too. He also wrote for Lloyd Price, Elvis Presley, and many others. Dave Bartholomew continued to sing the blues and play his trumpet well into his 90s. His son says his heart finally gave out, 100 years and six months old. There's nothing in this world like a common purpose to bring people together. Robert Friend was the best friend to any bomber pilot who flew alongside him during World War II. The man who would eventually be Lieutenant Colonel Friend was one of the Tuskegee Airmen, segregated from other Army units back then, but one of the most effective outfits in military history. He flew 142 combat missions. He later served in Korea and Vietnam. And he also was in charge of Project Blue Book, the secret military study of UFOs in the 50s and 60s. Yes, he did believe life was out there. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Friend's passing leaves only 11 surviving Tuskegee Airmen who flew combat missions. Colonel Friend was 99. Ray Steele, RTV6.